Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate some new features and some tips on using Visual Floor Planner 1.5.1. The first tip concerns the Add Room function. Do not use this Add Room. Use the Add Room from the Context menu. Simply right click at the point you want to add the room and from the Context menu select Add Room. This method is a lot more accurate. Now with the mouse Drag the room to its approximate size. Don't try and set the room to the exact size. Instead, use the control and cursor keys to shift a selected wall to its exact position. You can, if you wish, draw a room in a separate location and then drag that room onto an existing room. The existing room will highlight red when you place a new room over the existing room. A new room can also be placed on top of an existing room and the intersecting walls will react so. The perimeter of a building should always be made up of thick external walls, whilst all the internal walls are the thinner wall type. When you see an external wall appear where you would expect to see an internal wall, it means that the wall registration did not work correctly and it's best to delete the last step or delete the last room insert and insert the room again. Since version 151, whenever you move a wall, it will snap to any wall in the same vertical or horizontal plane. The same is for wall points. Whenever you drag a wall point, the wall point will also snap to any other wall point in the horizontal or vertical plane. Another new feature for version 151 is the ability to hide or show walls. Simply select the wall you want to hide and then right click to activate the context menu and select hide wall. It's now easier to adjust the length of a placed window. The window's depth is automatically set to the same depth of the wall. To adjust the length of the window, select the point on either end of the window and you can see that you can easily slide the window in order to change its size. The thickness of the window doesn't change. Right, I'm going to start a new project and create a simple plan containing seven rooms to demonstrate a problem that can occur and how to resolve it. It sometimes becomes difficult to add a room in a gap left between two existing rooms. No matter what we do, the new room just won't register. So, to resolve this, all you need to do is drag the room beyond the point where you actually need it, and then drag the wall point back to the position where you want on the wall. Another problem is, for instance, where I want to snap the wall point in the centre to the wall to the right, but it continuously wants to snap to the wall point to its left. The way to resolve this is to move the wall point on its left out of the way, snap the wall point to the right wall point, and then move the wall point on the left back and then you have everything in alignment.
Another new feature that we added to 151 in Visual Floor Planner was the ability to copy floors. In many cases, two or more floors may have the same layout. With the ability to copy floors, you can now speed up your floor plan creation. Here in this example, we have a floor plan on floor one. To copy this, we click the copy floor. Note that the floor two tab is now illuminated, indicating that there is a floor plan on floor two. Other than that, nothing else appears to have changed. That's because the plan on floor one is superimposed on the plan of floor two. And we can now edit the plan on floor two to suit the new floor plan. Reposition the floor plans as you require them. Adjust the plan size to suit the fact you've now got two floor plans. And then export or print as normal. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial for Visual Floor Planner and I thank you for watching.